Okay, people, so today is going to be a little bit different from the usual stress testing because the main point is going to be, be well, pretty much how I suck at Apache, but also why we are actually not stressing things here because that's a really important point for force, fe force feedback in general. So. Again, this is the Rhino thing in there, which you can't see. Best video ever. <coughs> and this here is called a helicopter, and they are kind of special. Especially in one very important way, for force feedback in general. And a lot of this stuff is not Rhino specific, of course, but force feedback. And some of it is Rhino specific, but the important thing is purely force feedback. So, let's go. I think I'm supposed to be in kind of okay trim for hovering. <coughs> so I'm not going to start trimming out this thing quite yet. So it's not exactly a nice hover, because it's me. But it's kind of hovering, and this is what helicopters do. They are so ugly that they are repelled by Earth, and they stay aloft a bit, almost stationary. But they can also move forwards, and I guess other directions, but mostly forwards, and this is the important thing. Let's start accelerating a little bit. And by little bit, I mean let's give it the beans properly. And now you may know this or not, but I'm actually having to give more and more push on the stick to keep this thing not looping around. And I'm giving it quite a lot of power, which means I need to give it a lot of push. So this is kind of stressful for the stick, and also me. So I don't like it, so let's change something. I click this magic button and the stick goes completely limb. Then I move it where I want it to stay and it kind of stays there. And now I'm almost trimmed for straight and level flight at reasonable speed. And this is taking no effort from me basically at all. Super light touch, no stress on the stick, and more importantly, no stress on me. And this is actually, I would say, quite fantastic. I kind of hesitate to say, but if there's one feature, I'd have to pick just one. Like massive selling point for force feedback, and this, is, this right here is it. So, for example, uh, I know that many people like their helicopter controllers, like a lot of dampening and uh, friction so that the stick just stays wherever you put it. Uh, personally, I never got it to work because I'm completely allergic to stiction. I hate it. And I always got lots of stiction when I tried it. But, okay. I'm happy for everybody who gets that thing to work, so that they like it. But there are a couple of advantages, even if you really like flying a stick that always just stays where you put it. Uh, there are at least two major advantages here. Uh, first of all, I can feel the position of the stick, and I know that I'm putting quite a lot of stress on the aircraft or helicopter, whatever. So I'm pushing it all the time, even though I'm not giving it any force, but I know where the stick is and what it's doing, and what I'm asking the helicopter to do. Then there's the other advantage, which is like a really big deal for me. And it's like, for example, if I now want to go back, I don't w want to keep flying anymore. I will just turn the helicopter around like this.
Oh, by the way, try not to get an epileptic seizure, and if you did, it's not my fault. Okay, so now I turn to helicopter, and I will, my pedals, of course, don't calibrate or trim like they should, so I need to play around with those a bit. But now I can let go, and I'm still flying straight and forward. So basically, I'm doing all of my stick movements around that new center point relative to the... Uh, straight and level flying, so this is like flying a normal propeller plane, I would say. So I can make a turn and then just basically return to normal trimmed state. Unless I want to brake and go hover and so on, which I will have to do separately. But if I just want to maneuver the helicopter a little bit, I can always feel where the straight and level flight is, and, have, and always return to it completely effortlessly. And that is just incredibly useful and especially comfortable. And for me, that's the best force feedback feature ever. Especially if you are like a dedicated helicopter pilot, then you just need to get a force feedback stick, any. And so far the Rhino has served me quite well, but the main thing here is just force feedback. That's like the biggest deal. And now I'm back at the airfield, so if I start uh, braking a little bit, the trim will eventually change, and I will re-trim this helicopter back to what is pretty close to hover. For example, right now I'm not trimming because I like to feel how much pull I'm giving the stick compared to the previous state. And now I'm breaking this pretty heavily right now compared to straight and level flight at that kind of power settings. And there's one slightly nagging thing about mostly ED coding or joystick stuff, because now when I start trimming, I get this kind of a bounce a bit. And so, okay, most of that was actually just my fault, but uh, the reason I get a little bit of bounce when I trim this aircraft, like when I'm giving it significant amount of force, is that uh, the stick goes completely limp. Like, I've been told that in Apache, probably, and some other helicopters that use this kind of system, when you start trimming, you still have quite a little, or quite a lot of resistance in the stick, so that it like resists movement and doesn't bounce like that, like it tends to do when you give it force and suddenly it goes completely limp. So there's still some friction applied in a real Apache, and there is none here. Now. The Rhino can totally do that, so it's not the stick's fault, but uh, ED should implement some form of, like, what I, what would you call it, maybe friction or something, something like that, that would help you not flinch every time you go from uh, normal flight to trimming. Like, for no example, right now I wouldn't flinch because there's no force involved, but when I'm pushing the stick hard and then trim to hover, then there's quite often some kind of a flinch movement. And that's kind of nitpicking, it's not really that hard, but when it's something that could be easily fixed, then it's a little bit annoying. But other than that, the main takeaway from this video is that I suck at Apache. But the second main takeaway is that this force stream is like gods, and it's really incredible, helpful feature for force feedback stuff. And the Apache is actually so nice to fly that I don't kind of want to stop this. So. Maybe I will just stop the video so that you don't get to enjoy this anymore. So. See you next time, maybe, or some other time, perhaps.